Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the seventh episode of Miedoko-chan. And we had a pretty exciting episode last time. Not only did we get Hana going, her own, going on her own adventure in a spooky haunted house, but we also had the, like, spiritual battle going on, which was really great scene just because it, it just goes to show you two people can be at the same place at the same time and have two very different uh, very different experiences depending on their perspective. So, pretty pretty deep stuff if, if you think about it. Anyway, let's Let's jump into this episode and see what's uh, what's up. Three, two, one, play. So, yeah, everything's everything's working. Okay, sorry, <laughs> we're starting for the shower scene. I would have it no other way, especially uh, with Miko or Hana, whoever, whoever this is. Oh no, Yudi, I think it is. Okay, I'll I'll take that too. Because you know I've been wanting more screen time of her, right? Now I'm waiting for spooky stuff. I was going to say spooky stuff to happen. and There you go. It's not the worst thing I could crawl up a drain. Okay, she didn't seem too bothered by the peeping ghost. Man, the mushroom theme. <laughs> Good times. It was a bonding session. No need to be upset. I never feel like I'm like in the middle of the monitor. It's... <laughs> Better watch out, Miko. Yeah, I think she has worse things to worry about than you. It was funny, though, because the first thing I thought was it was Miko in the shower. Then I saw some of the hair colors. Like, oh, no, it must be, like, Hana or something. But then I was like, wait, that's not Hana's hairstyle. And eventually, eventually my mind cut up to who that actually was. Moody. I left my phone in the bathroom, didn't I? Oh well. I do wonder how much the episode will involve Yudia because the fact that she's the only one we've seen so far in the episode makes you think she'll be pretty pretty prominent in the episode. Got a little bit of something on your everywhere. Okay, well it looks like we're at school. <laughs> Of course she goes into the shot Opie first. Oh lovely. Let's take a look. Yeah, I would I would have clicked the like button. <laughs> yeah, that, that's all good. <laughs> where? Where where where? <laughs> yeah. He brought his adversary with like the TV and stuff like that. <laughs> I mean, the important thing is if you enjoy it, and if you do, you should continue. So, yeah, it kind of like shoots them out. That's cool. You know, they made those anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not so happy memories. He 
She's got that aura that's used to cook ghosts, I guess. But could you never do them again? <laughs> I mean, you have a, when you have a friend as beautiful as you, you take the occasional picture. <laughs> I think it makes it uh, work faster. So is there going to be a ghost behind her? Guessing so. Not quite sure what I saw there, but there was something there. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah, I love the yeah, I love the way she said it. Oh, there's there she is. When did you show up? <laughs> That's her. Yeah, we were wrestling, it was great. No hard feelings. That one, she lost consciousness. I just really just want to pluck those mushrooms in her head. <laughs> oh God! Getting played, getting played here, Hana. <laughs> There's no stopping this now. In fact, we may not get her out of there again. <laughs> Still in there. Oh no, I think she's gonna lose consciousness again. <laughs> there we go. I was half joking, but we really went there. So yeah, Yulia's been pretty lucky in the show so far. And yeah, I just think this is our first outing as like a trio of friends. This is great. You know, until Ghost ruin it. But that's the soup we swim in, so... Yudia is so short, though. I missed the cup holder. Good thing I didn't let go. Everything will be fine. We can hope, at least. That jerky. Or that no, pokey. Okay. Yeah, it makes more sense for an anime. I don't know what I was thinking. She grabs one. There's a ghost hanging on it. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> uh, that probably has ghosts in it. <laughs> yeah, my my main concern is the view inside. <laughs> I've seen in tunnels like this in a couple other shows. Mob Psycho comes to mind. I think also um, Takagi San. Also had a tunnel like this. I'm pretty sure a couple of those shows as well. That kind of looks like a humanoid figure shadow. <laughs> That's gonna make her jump. <laughs> Just close your eyes, hold someone's hand, and you'll be through before you know it. Is that a rock or a ghost rock? <laughs> she, she just threw a rock out of her shoe. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, you dear. <laughs> You're reading too much in this stuff. <laughs> she looks really cool doing that, but... <laughs> I just, I love this girl. <laughs> okay, there is something over there. This is what happens when we dilly dally. Can you see him too? <laughs> you're the one that can't even see these things, and you're the one that's the most wanting to get out of here. I was waiting for it. I knew Amate was coming. <laughs> I guess that got her. <laughs> that just that face. <laughs> I don't think she thinks that. <laughs> hey guys, like we're leaving. Well, we should have an interesting background for the for the shot. <laughs> a what? Bye. I don't know what that even means. I guess it's a nice angle. <laughs> well, Honda's taking the picture. I don't know what Yudi is. Excuses. If you say so. <laughs> as long as she needs to. One of these things is not like the others. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> I, I probably shouldn't. That's so many of them. Chains is a bad sign. And is that what walking on all fours? Because that's even scarier. Especially if it's upside down. Is it upside down? Uh, do I want a full shot of it? Is it stuck in a... What do you know, one of those barrel things? Uh. Okay. Well, that was a wonderful commercial break. Let's get back into it. And that one's big. Yeah, it's like... Uh, and a lot of effort was put into designing this one. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna run probably right through one of them. Uh, is it attacking other ghosts? I mean, we've seen that before. Jeez. <laughs> that look good. Yeah, that, that look says it all. Uh. Uh. I think we should go home now.
<laughs> she she did not do that. <laughs> really, I'm getting mob psycho real free f re flashbacks. <laughs> I mean, she thinks you're this powerful exorcist that just can take them all out anyway, so. <laughs> that is not at all. Not at all. Uh. <laughs> Do your best, I guess. <laughs> yeah, Hana, this place is full of cockroaches. We should definitely get out right now. It kind of was a spider. Yeah, I was actually... I almost commented on it looking like a spider earlier. I was hoping the ghost would say Kumo desu ga nanika, but it didn't. Oh, warm. <sighs> Words kind of escape me to describe what I'm looking at. You're on a completely different level. I can't make this as a small one. Uh, yeah, she really doesn't see the big one doing this. Okay, I was out of feeling that's what, how she would take it. This poor girl that only half understands what's going on around her. Which is somehow worse than Hana not understood, not knowing any of it. <laughs> she looks so happy. Uh, more than you did. I acknowledge you. Come to me. Next head, next head chuck. We'll drag her to here unconscious. Oh, guys, are leaving at least store just. Oh my god, that. Wow. You'll be getting that VIP treatment this episode? What? That's okay. Uh, okay. That's the only thing that made any sense. So, they did say it three times or whatever, so... I guess this is one of them. Because it was either these guys or it was a mysterious exorcist that popped up out of nowhere, so. And my money was on it being them. Uh. Is it dead? Okay, at least it left. So are they gonna. Say how many times are left now? <laughs> yeah. If only you knew the real scary things that were in this room. One left. Actually, there's two of them. I mean, there's two left. Uh, I assume they just need one, though. One left. And then what do we do? Well, that was a fun trip, guys. Don't you feel our friendship deepened? I don't think the world's ready for a picture of that thing.
<laughs> okay, we're doing another picture. Yeah, a three shot. <laughs> Did you put stickers on it first? Ah, uh, more of these flashbacks. Such rude girls. She just has that overactive imagination. <laughs> yeah, I wonder how things would have went down if we didn't have our Keeps in there, God spirit thingies to help. <laughs> she said muffin, but it almost like she said morphine. <laughs> and yeah, roll credits. <laughs> Yeah, drink some more of my water now. I do think some of the creepiest stuff in the show is when a ghost asks if um, if Miko can see see them because they don't really talk much in general. So it makes it when they do talk all that more effective on the creepy scale. If that makes sense. And what is her obsession with mushrooms anyway? Wish Mika was right behind me. Are we gonna get a stinger? Looks like we are. Just enjoying our uh, usual snacks. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Yeah, our um, girl with the special aura over there. Got something on your shoe. <laughs> there you go. She yeah, re refuels up and gets that aura generating, which I guess you I can see. And they get burned up by it. That holy aura. I don't really quite fully understand the mechanics of all that, but. Because you've seen ghosts wrap around her and stuff before without getting burnt, like in the early, like episode two. <laughs> Didn't know that was a thing, but. <laughs> you. Why do you have to read into everything? <laughs> she must have been hungry. <laughs> Meanwhile, Valhana two hands it over there. Mia Terumono. Okay, so maybe is that going to focus on the ghosts themselves? Well, I mean, it kind of always does that. I don't know. Just maybe I guess there's a more detail, maybe. Anyway, uh, yeah, that was the seventh episode of Miyadoko-chan. <laughs> Another good episode. This one was nice, especially because we did get actual UDF focus. Because she's been kind of, like, not super relevant. Like, she had a decent amount of screen time back in the Chokehold episode, as I as I call it. Right? And she's learned a little bit about Han uh, Miko from that. And, you know, jumped to some wrong conclusions and assumptions and stuff. About about Miko, and she does it a lot. It seems like she just like uh, something happens, and she goes through mental gymnastics to kind of interpret it in her kind of chuny way, right? Which uh, just sometimes is just well, usually it's great, you know. 
Like when she, just, I don't know, just the whole sequence of her imagining Miko doing the barrier and stuff, like the magic circle below her. I just, Miko looked really cool doing that. Like it was an imagination sequence sort of thing, but still, it just, it looked great. I mean, I enjoy that Chuni kind of, Chuni kind of stuff anyway. Magic circles, summoning enchantments and stuff, just all that stuff. I really, it, it's cool to watch, especially when a cute girl does it. So I, I, I'm definitely on the same kind of wavelength as, as uh, Yudia, Yudia like that. So, of course, that wasn't actually what Mika was doing. She was just in, in the cave throwing a rock out of her shoe. I just I cannot believe how just the way she just takes so many things that are just regular things, but just, no, it's this crazy, super powerful psychic stuff, which it, it's usually not, right? Like, of course, Miko does have special awareness, right? But she doesn't, like, cast exorcisms or summon magic circles or put up barriers. Like, she doesn't do any of that stuff, really. But just, I don't know. It's just funny seeing how she sees her. It's it's great. But, yeah. Uh, we had some good chance for some friendship building this episode. Because we had Yudia show up in class. I mean, first we had Hana going off on her, like, pictures and all that. Being happy about all the likes she got on social media. And uh, thinking she has a talent for picture taking and just giving off her deep quotes, you know, whatever, whatever you want to call that. So, yeah. Also, Yudia somehow got shoved in that Hana Opai, which is great because later on in the episode, she gets put into the Miko Opai. So I'm pretty sure that's a, a, a really effective way to, like, get on the fast track to friendship building amongst uh, amongst females. So as a result, we're basically a tight-knit circle of friends now at this point, I would, I would say. But... Uh, See what else is there to say about this episode? I mean, went into the went into the cave, the the tunnel, right? And had a lot of ghosts, which I pretty much expected. And we saw the really bad one, which Beauty Yudia Yulia did not see that. She, because what she actually saw was like, because she could see the weaker ones, right? So from her perspective, they were just kind of like getting destroyed or whatever. She couldn't see what was actually doing the destroying. So she just kind of filled in the gaps and figured Mika was doing her cool exorcism stuff. And also be like, hey, hey kid, uh, let's see what you got. So she tries to do the exorcism and it doesn't work. But then the ghost kills the other ghost and she's like, hey, maybe it does work. But of course it didn't. It didn't work at all. And we did get a chance for our special spirits to show up and save the day. And they said there's only one left to do that they're going to do. So it'll be pretty rough after that. <laughs> but at least we're safe for now. <clears throat> at least we're safe for now. But man, that ghost really was creepy. Like, the worst was when it, like, near the end of the the ghost's stuff. We I think we had, like, an upside-down face and all that. Like, that was the worst of it. Although, when the, the shell came off and we saw the multiple faces, that was pretty terrifying as well. It was just, it was a really freaky one. Especially because it was, you know, human-like, but also somewhat spider-like because of how it was, like, the body was laid out. Like, oh, God, they never really... I, the show never never runs out of ideas for just great slash horrible uh, ghost designs. And of course, the lead also kind of connected for a nice little excuse from Hot for uh, Miko being like, "Hey, there's a spider in there," because it was it looked spider-like, although it wasn't technically a spider, but a spider is something you would expect to see in this kind of place. And yeah, Honda wouldn't want to be around one. So <laughs> and we did get a nice range of facial expressions from from Yulia throughout the course of the episode. But yeah, this is it right here at a. Uh, 17 minutes and 22 seconds, I guess. Yeah, the upside down face smile, the, all the like stabby kind of teeth, and the way as as it's saying the creepy line that I was talking about, the whole "Can you see me?" thing, all that coupled together, just oh uh, uh, man, it's the kind of thing that makes me want to look behind me just to make sure there's nothing there. Like even like zoomed in further at a certain point in there too. But like I said, we we got saved there, which is good. And, and also, friendship was deep into there, which is the important thing. You know, Hana's like squishing them all together for one quick picture. This is also great. It really is, it, it hurts to see those flashbacks of those random middle school girls, you know, being mean to poor Yulia, saying she's like an attention whore and stuff like that. Which isn't really the case, at least not completely. Like I said, just she has a really active imagination and she just, she, and also to some degree of spiritual awareness. When you combine those two things together, you, yeah, you're gonna attract a lot of attention one way or the other. If you, especially when you try to express what you're seeing, what you're feeling, 
And if the few of mine you don't believe in anything supernatural, there's only one way they're gonna take all that. And it's it's not as not as not in a positive way, so it is good that she did find friends. And we had her set the picture as a wallpaper. Because there's uh, three options here. Like uh I think one was like the lock screen, one was like a home screen, and one was like both, which I think she hit both. Yeah, the Ohoni set day or whatever. And uh, I think that's what she hit. I think that's what she hit. Yeah, hit both. But, uh, yeah, because I think this is the first time she really had friends to hang out with and have fun. Of course, there was the the spiritual stuff going on here. But still, it was friends hanging out with each other, having a good time. So, good stuff. Good stuff. And next episode was called, yeah, Mia Terimono or whatever. So, that does make me think that it's going to focus more on the ghosts themselves. Rather than, you know, Miko dealing with the ghosts. Maybe we'll learn more about how they function on a mechanics level, or we'll just get really deep into a particular ghost backstory. I don't know exactly how to take that, but either way, we should get something. Something next episode. But... <laughs> and some of those shots of just Mika... Uh, Yulia's imagination of Miko like, ex doing exorcisms and stuff. I don't know why, but it made me think of, like, um, a certain scientific rail again, just, like, shooting the... You know the railgun. I just it came to my mind. I don't know why. As I was watching one of those one of those scenes. But anyway, that's all I got to say. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Click the like button if you did. Subscribe. Leave a comment. Patreon support. All that good stuff. And uh, I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.